What's going on guys? I am really excited right now. This is one of the tools I always wanted to get when it comes to Makita XGT. Now I own a number of the 36 volt LXT chainsaws and you know from doing work you know, I do a lot of like storm cleanup after the hurricanes down here in Florida and for my own company I use a ton of chainsaws and I absolutely love the battery powered chainsaws. Makita makes a great chainsaw but the 36 volt chainsaws they don't have a lot of power they do overheat quite a bit so I was really excited when Makita announced the XGT chainsaws. Now of course they are quite expensive so I did get this in like to thank Acme Tools and Makita for sending me this my way. Um, love to grab one of these. Finally got one at my door now. So we're going to open this thing up and check it out. And don't forget to subscribe guys, support the channel. So let's get this thing popped open. All right, so model number is the GUC06T1. This is going to be of course a unique model number to the US. So it's going to be different elsewhere in the world. Um, that model number will change that last number depending on the bar and chain size you get. I believe the 18 inch bar and chain is going to be your most common bar and chain size uh, to pick up. So I think they come in, I think come in like 16 and 14 inch bar and chains are the other types to get. So let's see what we've got in the box here. All right, I got the bar and chain are gonna be in the case here, which is nice to have. I love the Makita's uh, little bar and chain cases here. They're actually pretty nice. This box is actually pretty heavy. I think it's like 20, 26 pounds in that range. Quite a heavy chainsaw here. So I've got the charger, which I've got a couple of these already. These are actually quite large chargers. And here we go, we got the battery in here. That's cool, it actually comes wrapped and uh, individually boxed in here, so that's pretty cool. So I'll get this open in just a second here. All right, there we go. We got everything out of the box and ready to go. So it looks like we have some bar and chain oil included. That's pretty cool. I would guess this is probably a Oregon brand bar and chain here because we're getting the oil because they gave us a Oregon bar and chain here, which is pretty cool. I also have a, a little tool here for making some adjustments. Um, I'm not really sure where the adjustments are going to be here because I'm actually kind of disappointed in this, but uh, we have the same design as the 36 volt um, chainsaws, which I'm not really happy with this design at all. This design is more annoying than it is useful. Um, I much prefer just the two nut designs on most chainsaws. It's, it's just a proven, you know, just works, easy to use. And I'm sure you're thinking, you know, hey, maybe Makita designed this for more of the homeowner or people who use chainsaws less often. Um, but, you know, if that was the case, this thing is priced quite high for someone who would use a chainsaw not too often. It retails for, I think, around $560, $580. So after tax, you're going to be over $600 on this kit regardless. So, yeah, it's, it's an expensive kit here for the chainsaw. So let's get this thing assembled. All right, let's get this bar and chain on. This is the largest Makita bar I've ever seen. Uh, I think my other largest one, I think I had like a 14, maybe a 16 before. So that's probably the largest one I've had. So nothing out of the ordinary here. Very, very similar design to the 36 volt design here. Kind of unusual that there's a lot of plastic in here for being a $600 chainsaw. I would definitely expect some more metal out of here or in this, but if you look inside here, of course we have a metal gearing in here. This is all metal in here, so that's nice. Kind of unusual why there's two plastic pieces on each side here of these rails. Usually that's gonna be all metal. And this is actually a magnesium, which is pretty cool. So of course it's gonna be light and strong. Of course we do have a metal bucking spike up front. That's really nice to see. So let's get that bar and chain on, add some bar and chain oil there. And whenever you're putting a bar and chain on a chainsaw, make sure you always put the chain on the correct way. So if you find the teeth on the chainsaw, right here is my teeth. Notice the pointy part is facing up. That's what you want it to be. So my Makita bar here, I'm gonna put that on here. So I like to put these bar and chains on by tilting the chainsaw on its side like this. I then can get the bar and chain on. Now what you have to align next in this position is going to be your chain tensioner. So you see that black pin there? Notice how it's, it's gonna to be too far forward from its natural setting there. So I need to take that in a bit. 
And honestly, this is why I hate the, this is just the worst chain tensioning system. I, I absolutely hate this. I wish we could just use the regular chain tensioning system that comes with normal chainsaws. You just rotate this around. I can do that with a impact driver in five seconds, not have to do this. This is just a pain. And looking at the tools and stuff review video, um, he actually had the new chainsaw in, I think he's in, I think he's in New Zealand, and he actually had the full, you know, the two, the two nuts on there. He didn't have this whole system. They did have, he does have this for the 36 volt chainsaw, but in, over there they changed the chainsaws over to a professional, basically grade of chainsaw, which I'm wondering why they put this on here for such an expensive chainsaw. It's just not, not my preference. I've never actually had these break on me, but they are kind of fussy because you do have to, if you gotta make adjustments to your chainsaw um, while you're working, you gotta kind of take your gloves off because I can't get my finger into this and take my and not have my gloves on. It's just, you gotta take your gloves off to get this chain adjustment here. Um, DeWalt does it actually even better than this. They have two just large knobs you can turn with gloves on. This doesn't need to come out or anything. This won't break off. There's two large knobs and it works fantastic, so. I don't, I don't understand what Makita's doing with this system. I wish we just had the regular two nuts on here like every other chainsaw manufacturer does. So there we go, I got an adequate amount of chain tension. Before I do anything, eat anything next, I wanna add some bar and chain oil. So I'm just gonna use the stuff that Makita provided to me. Um, let's see if this is a new, oh, that's pretty cool. So what you do is you push down here, this little lever pops up, and then that unscrews quite nicely. That's pretty cool. So let us add some bar and chain oil. Kind of a cool little bottle. I don't like that. All right, I got that piece out of there. That was a little annoying. <laughs> All right, so now let's get some bar and chain oil added to the chainsaw. Look at that filled the tank about half full. Let's get this thing closed and see on the side here. Yeah, not bad there, so. You can see the reservoir on the side there. Got about a full tank now. All right, so let's talk the five amp hour battery. So one of the big reasons to, of course, buy some of the larger XGT tools is you get some of the larger batteries. So really cool here to pick up a five amp hour battery from Makita XGT, give you a bit more runtime. Now it's gonna be quite a bit different than a four amp hour battery. It's not just Makita adding some more cells to give you a larger battery. This thing is heavy. There it is. But Makita actually changed over to a different type of cell. So yeah, this thing is quite large. I've got a four amp hour battery here. Check out the size comparison. You know, the five amp hour battery, it does feel heavier, but it's not like significantly heavier. So that is kind of cool there. So you can kind of see now the 5 amp hour battery is actually going to be thinner than the 4 amp hour battery, which is interesting. So a little bit thinner than the 4 amp hour battery. Of course, the 5 amp hour battery is a lot taller. Um, kind of funny that, you know, the 4 amp hour battery, it, the entire piece here actually comes down. That's how it unclips. Whereas the 5 amp hour battery, it pushes in. This part actually doesn't come down on the, on the front here. So it just pushes in and there you go. It's actually an entirely different clipping system there, which is kind of interesting. And he's always come pretty much dead from brand new. So I have to get this thing charged up. I think it's like a 50 minute charge or so. I kind of remember that with the amp hours and the 40 volt, it's basically just times 10. And that's generally the minutes that it takes to charge. So 50 minutes, 40 minutes, uh, 2.5 is around 25 minutes is kind of an easy way to tell there how long it'll take. So let's get this battery charged up and let's get this test chainsaw tested out. So that was some testing out between the 36 volt chainsaw for the LXT and the new XGT chainsaw. Now I will say, I've got four amp hour batteries in this one and I also got the four amp hour battery in the XGT chainsaw. I'll do some future testing with the five amp hour. It's currently charging up right now, but I still want to run the test with the four, see how well it did. 
So it definitely has a ton of power with the 4 amp hour battery still. It's noticeably more powerful, definitely with XGT, I will say that. Um, big, big increase. I got a feeling that it's going to perform better when it comes to thermals as well too, so it won't overheat as fast. But as you can see here, the size difference between these two chainsaws is actually not terrible. I will say the XGT is definitely on the bulkier side. It doesn't feel that much heavier than the 36 volt chainsaw. However, though, when you get to some of the batteries, especially you're gonna put an eight amp hour battery in here, it's definitely gonna get heavier and, you know, clunkier to move around. It's cool that we have a now metal handle on here versus this one with just a plastic handle. The chain brake is actually smaller on the XGT, which is kind of funny. Uh, if you look at the width of them, it's gonna be maybe a little bit taller on the XGT, but not as wide on the 36 volt. All right, and then here's the LXT top handle right next to the XGT rear handle. So it's almost no comparison in the size comparison now. It's just a huge chainsaw. Not too much bigger than 36 volt, but definitely on the larger side. So as we look inside the battery compartment, it fits up to an 8 amp hour battery, which you can see how much larger an 8 amp hour battery is going to get. Um, just a nice little hole in the bottom. If you get any dirt or water in there, it will kind of just nicely wash out. I'm kind of curious if this piece actually will come off or not. I think it will. Might have to get inside there somehow to get that off. Or, you know, a reciprocating saw will work pretty well there too if you get desperate. So, not a bad thing there. Um, overall, you know, it's very similar to 36 volt saw. Not a huge amount of changes. Um, of course, we've got the usual safety switches here by the trigger on off button, which is pretty much identical to the 36 volt, which is here. Um, this does feel a little bit beefier on the XGT. Feels a little bit, does feel larger safety switch than the XGT, I will say that. All right guys, so hope you enjoyed the video. I believe I'm actually the first US reviewer to check out the XGT chainsaw, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, now of course, you know, there is gonna be a couple changes if you've seen tools and stuff videos on this. Um, of course, we don't have the two nut um, chain tensioner here, so kind of disappointed in that. And of course, you know, this is a $600 chainsaw, so keep that in mind. I like to definitely talk about price, talk about value when it comes to these. Um, now I will say I did order a second one of these kits in. Um, I got one on the President's Day sale, on eBay if you saw my video on that there were some awesome deals on eBay for the President's Day sale so I got one for under $400 shipped to my door so that one should be coming in here pretty soon as well so I mostly bought it because I get a second 5 amp hour battery and a second chainsaw so not a bad deal to pick up one of those Remember, you find deals on XGT right now it's definitely worth picking them up for cheap because this stuff is actually pretty awesome to pick up so I can't wait to test this thing out more I'm probably gonna do a future unreviewed video on this once I get some more hands-on um, usage out of this chainsaw, test out some jobs. I'm really curious to see how it performs in the really hot, humid weather here in Florida, see how fast it overheats batteries compared to the 36 volt one. Now, when I say would I go for, you know, XGT over the 36 volt stuff right now, well, I'm hoping to say yes, because I think the 36 volt ones are great chainsaws, but they do have some issues with overload and, of course, overheating. So XGT, I think this is a fantastic step forward, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and I uh, can't wait to see more XGT coming out, guys. So take care. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.